Until now, our elements are placed with coordinates, with rows and columns. And as we saw just now, this is awkward. If the grid structure changes, then all the places placements get uh, messed up. And we can use named areas to avoid this. So the easiest way to create a name, named area and at the same time to assign it to an element in the grid is to use the, this small menu here. So we select the grid element and then we go here and we say set grid area and we give it a name. And we can see here the, these two cells are now grid area named title and our element is no longer placed by by columns and rows but we, it, by a grid area so here it, it is title and if we change this let's make the title area bigger we can see that our uh, heading is also placed according to that so let's go back and make it smaller and let's do the same for others. So let's select the block quote and we say set grid area quote and select the author and the text And here it is, our areas. So the only limitation of named areas is that they cannot overlap. And that's the reason why we cannot use named area for our image as well. But we are not stuck with using fixed positioning with coordinates. We can do something interesting instead.